What's going on? Rob here, Trev2323, TREV2323. Just updating you on all of our tanks that we got running now. This is our little squishy. He's a long-term guy in it to win it here. This is our 130 gallon tank right here. If you remember, we had the red tail catfish, Katmandu. He didn't make it. I had no idea about swimmer's bladder. If I did, I wouldn't have force fed him as much as I did. I would have force fed him peas because apparently peas are good. I had no idea with a red tail catfish floating at the top with his side. I really didn't. So either way, he's not here no more. He lasted about nine months. This guy's on three years as of this August. He's a red belly Paku. Uh, the filter we're running is our Marineland 350. And this one got a Lee's under gravel filter. What those pipes were, were for the crayfish. All right, this right here is our night crawlers. I'm a fishing man, you know. And the night crawlers, we got uh, red wigglers and let's see if we can find any. See if we can find any, babe. No, oh, 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 I seen to them. I seen to them. Where'd they go? Okay, here we go. What the? All right, that's the night crawlers that we're growing in here. Ooh, -wee, he's a squirrely little sucker. Either way, Squishy eats them. Uh, the koi haven't ate them yet, but we also have some. Uh, red worms in here there's another night crawler that was snacked up this is a medium sized red worm okay but all this is is newspaper that's all they're living off of is newspaper we have nothing but news wet newspaper in there okay these are my wife's fish we've been trying with baby koi we're having no luck in a 10 gallon just for baby koi we we're gonna upgrade them anyways but these are three they would be considered medium sized koi now there's no under gravel filter in here. I mean, yeah, no under gravel. It's just a Marineland 350 knot to the top. These koi were got out of a little makeshift pond. So they were used to eating from the top. So my wife bought her babies the Hakari Gold, expensive crap. And they're not even eating it. Because with this filled all the way to the top, they're not coming up. So we had to lessen it down some. It, it aerates the water also more. This guy's waiting for food right here. So those are the three koi that my wife has right now. They were stated to be Japanese koi. So one of them is pretty cool because one of them looks like he got a two face. He's orange on one side and white on the other side. With a black eye right there and the orange face. And then he turns around and he got a white face. So that guy's pretty cool. But this tank right here, we got the water balanced, but we shocked it. We actually got it up and running within one day, put chemicals to balance the water, put the fish in it. So it shocks the tank, the filter got to build up the bad bacteria and everything. But that's what we're running on that one right now. That's a 55. So my wife, ideally for me would be the two plexiglass acrylic tanks on a 90 degree from this size to the floor for a little squishy and for the koi. Now let me take you upstairs and show you the third tank. Okay, here's our third tank right here. Those are marbled crayfish. It looks like there's a dead one over there, but it's not a dead one. They're actually molt because we actually count all the large ones that we got. There's three large ones and there's always been the three large ones. So they're doing okay, but they do molt. And there's two small ones in here, but uh, this one right here is on eggs. See the eggs underneath there? This one right here is on eggs. So what sucks for me is I can't even change this water right now because it's on eggs. There's a big hole in the back that one burrowed in. That burrowed underneath that one right there. So these are marbled crayfish. But the one on the side right there, I'm actually going to pull up and take out. It looked like that one was on eggs. I don't know. i got to take out all these extra pieces anyway. So let me just... Oh, that one's still alive. That's the one that apparently they were fighting. It's still alive, see? It has eggs. So let me put it in the back burrow over here. No, she don't have any eggs anymore. Let me turn her over and hide her. Now look at that. I put her in there and the little one is beating it up. Okay, so that one was still alive. And look at the little one eat. This is what they molted and the little one's grabbing that right there. Let me grab all that one. So that one is still alive. They're just picking on it. 
Okay. This is the one on eggs. There's another massive one over there. There's a small one right there, and there's one hiding behind over there. But this is a 10 gallon marble crayfish tank. I feel bad for that one. Look at that one. No legs at all. Well, one, two legs. But when it molts, it'll get more legs back. So, either way, this is the marble crayfish tank. And with this orange gravel, I love natural gravel. With this orange gravel, I got, uh, the heck is that stuff? Ick. With the fish that I had. Alright, I don't know if you can see me now. But with the orange gravel, I got ick two times. Two times. I always just use natural gravel. I don't use sand, I use natural gravel. So anyway, that's my three things. That's what I'm going off of. I'll show you when the crayfish have some babies. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.